You started a nonprofit at eight years old. Can you tell us about it? So, Listways Lights is a nonprofit that I created when I was eight years old, and we donate night lights to children in foster care to help brighten their world. And since 2019, we've been able to donate over 15,000 night lights to children in foster care <laughs> to all 50 states and nine countries. Wow. How did you come up with the idea? Well, I heard that some foster kids might have to leave in the middle of the night and they sometimes can't take anything. And so being a kid that was afraid of the dark in my own home, I couldn't imagine what it would be like having to travel to a new home where you may not know anybody. And so having that nightlight could help them feel more safe and comfortable in that new home. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. What else are you doing for the foster kids? So besides donating nightlights, we also hold in-person events for foster kids. And we've been able to hold a pageant, a princess tea party, some days at the fire stations with the firefighters, and a lot of other things. And we hold these because some foster kids can't go to these in-person events, whether it's because of monetary reasons or just for their safety. And at each in-person event, we try and give them a bag because uh, on average, foster kids move about seven times during their whole foster wow. care journey. And uh, so having that bag, they can put all of their belongings in for the next time that they move. That's just beautiful. Whew. Do you ever hear from the kids you, you help? Yeah, we do hear a lot from the foster care organizations. And we've heard a couple of times that uh, through like the letters that they send back to us that the first thing that the foster kids pull out of their bag is the nightlights and uh, the people that work at the organizations always like help them plug it into their wall and they can just see the smiles on their faces. One of my favorite stories was about a boy in Oklahoma, and uh, he had just recently come into foster care, and I think that he was only like four years old, and he had to keep the hallway light on, and it wasn't because he was scared of the dark, but it was so that he can make sure that his sister was okay, and so having that nightlight helped him feel like his sister was okay, and so that he could look across the hallway and make sure that she was okay. That is so touching. Oh my God. I love this, that you're trying to, you're trying to get other children involved. Tell us about that. So one of my goals at the beginning of this year was to start an ambassador program for people in my generation. And we have 12 ambassadors from all over the country. And the ambassadors hold a packing party and then they also have to hold a nightlight drive in their community. And my hope with all of these ambassadors is that by involving my generation with the foster kids, then they can grow up and hopefully we can become one step closer to fixing the foster care crisis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. What do you say to other children with hearts like yours that want to help out? Like, how would they get started? So, you don't just have to help foster kids. There's a lot of things in uh, the world that need help, like, <laughs> that need help. And so, you just find your passion and use it to make the world a better place. And that's my family motto. And so... So if you like dancing, so I go to the nursing home every month and I invite some of my friends to go dance for the residents at the nursing home. And so that's one way, good way to get involved with your community. Or if you like dogs or cats, then you can go volunteer at the Humane Society. So it's just finding your passion and using it to make the world a better place. Wow. You've done quite a bit, young lady. What is your goal for the next year? So this year, uh, we want to be able to donate 2,500 nightlights. And so that would bring up our total to 17,500 nightlights. And then uh, we also want to hold a couple more in-person events. And one of those would be a field day for the foster kid families so that they could compete against the other families and then have just fun outside. Um, do you see the joy on her face? Oh my God, we love what you're doing. And we want to give you $2,500 for you to help reach that goal of yours. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.